This week in Nerf, we've got a modular Nerf blaster system, micro shots, and mini guns. I'm Django, this is your source for first party, third party, and community Nerf news. Now you may notice uh, it's a slightly different perspective this week. That's because I hurt my back and I can't actually set up in the other position. So bear with me for this week. Hopefully next week we'll be back to something a little bit better looking. But thank you all for being here regardless. Now getting on into it, real quick, want to update you with something more from last week. And that is the Eclipse flywheel system with the flywheel cage and the flywheels. Uh, OFP Phil got in contact with me and let me know that he is moving production of all of the Eclipse flywheels to the United States. This will allow him to have a better relationship with the people manufacturing them and will allow uh, better tolerances and hopefully prevent the issues that we've seen with the current batch in the future batches. And the next batch should be out by uh, end of January, I believe he said, and that should have better quality all around in them. But again, if you did have issues with your Eclipse flywheels, get in contact with either your retailer or Open Flywheel Project Phil, and they will take care of you and get you with some proper flywheels so you can enjoy your Eclipse system as soon as possible, uh, which is good news. I like that they are moving over to the United States to try and have that better relationship to uh, just have better general overall quality. Not that you can't get good quality overseas, but when you're in closer proximity to the people building your products, you generally are, are better able to control the quality that comes from them. So moving on, I want to talk about something I'm super excited about. Uh, this was posted this week by 498 Nerf, and this is the Foxfire Modular Blaster System. This thing is awesome. I, 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 okay, where, where to start? So this blaster breaks down into three separate pieces. There's a core, which contains the pusher unit, uh, a receiver, which is essentially your magwell, and the housing, which is the front end, your flywheels, barrel, all of that good stuff. And this is just so cool to me. There's so much that can be done with this system because 498 Nerf is uh, pushing it as a community project or an open source project that the community can take and adapt and modify and change and add things to. I'm really, really excited to see where this goes in the future uh, because with the ability to have different kinds of cores, magwells, uh, flywheel cages, all that, uh, he already has two different ones. One of them is a two-stage flywheel uh, setup, one is a single stage. So you can just pop it off the, pop off the front end, put a new front end in, and you've got a different FPS, a different rev time, different whatever, and that's so cool to me. Uh, this works really, really simply in terms of end user functionality in that there's only four screws to take all of the modules apart. You've got two screws in the front, two screws in the back, and uh, some hooks that help hold things in. And I think that's really nice because if you're out on the field and you want to change something up, just oh, let me pop a couple screws, pull this out, put a new one in. Oh look, I've got something completely different now. Uh, and I think that's so awesome. I absolutely love it. I love also that they are using uh, XT60 connectors to attach the flywheels and he's got channels to set those all up and hook those up. And it's just, it's so nice. I'm really excited for this. And I really, I can't wait to see what people come up with because having things like different cores means you can have like different grips, different, you know, if you have a different size of hand, you can make a grip that fits your hand better. Or maybe you want to have different cores. One is uh, a semi-auto, one is a full auto mech. Uh, you know, different receivers means, hey, maybe we'll see some custom katana mag holders or katana mag wells. So we'll start seeing more short dart flywheel systems, which while you will lose a little bit of velocity, you may gain some of the benefits of shorter darts overall. So there's just, there's so much that can be done with this. And I'm really, really amped to see what the community comes up with and what, what all of you do with this system, because there's a lot a lot, a lot that can be done in terms of aesthetics and functionality. And I really think this is a system that we're going to see uh, just great things from in the future. And I'm going to be looking very carefully and hopefully picking something up in the future uh, if someone does end up selling them and uh, maybe try and 
find the right settings for myself, you know I, I like options. And this is, this is pretty much king of options, being able to swap out different sections of your blaster and all of that. So that is really, really cool to me, and I am super stoked for it. Uh, I will actually put a video down in the links along with the, the Reddit post that will go to 488 Nerf's video overviewing all of the details of the system and showing you how it all works, and it's super cool. Go check it out. One more topic for today before we move on to the modern video of the week is uh, that micro shots are now available on Amazon. Buff Daddy Nerf posted up on Reddit that he found the day before they went live some pre-orders. They are now live, and uh, Series 1 is available which is the strong arm the hammer shot and the fire strike all three of those and uh, they run just under 10 bucks each which is it's not cheap but for something that's more like a collectible kind of thing i'm okay with it uh i think they look kind of neat i like the kind of cute like chibified you know look of things i definitely want to pick up a fire strike uh, just to have them maybe used, and then I'll probably try and pick up one of each of the other, of all three to keep in packaging just for the future, just to collect, because I think that's kind of the point of these. I, I like them. I think they're really neat and really fun, and I like that Nerf or Hasbro is branching out into something maybe a little more collector style to see how the community reacts, kind of testing the waters. Maybe we'll get some more stuff like that in the future. I know they have uh, series two and three already planned. We've seen spoiler images or outlines for them. So we know we're at least getting those, but I'm looking forward to see what they do beyond that if they're well received. Um, of course, as always, link to those down below. Let's move on to the mod of the week. This is a big one. Now, in the past, I've kind of shied away from doing mods of the week from people that are generally well known on YouTube because I like to share the things that may get missed or may not have been seen by people, but this was just, it was just too over the top to not. And this is, of course, Captain Xavier's Nerf minigun. This thing is, it's just a fantastic piece of work. It's over the top, it's ridiculous, and it's magnificent. Uh, tons of work had to go into this entire system. It is super cool. Uh, he, I, I can't go into all the details here. There's a ton of details and stuff that went into this. And uh, the link to the video will, of course, be down below. It's so cool. I, I love the amount of detail and love that went into this. I love the fact that instead of taking the approach of using like a Zeus or uh, any other rival blaster as the core of the blaster. He took a dart zone punisher, which is cool because that means he gets to have the spinning turret for the minigun effect. And it adds the aesthetic. It also added to the amount of work he had to do to get everything to function on the inside of that. And the way it all works, I'm sure it must have been a pain uh, to get that all working, but it looks cool and it matches so well with his like Slade um, kind of look, but he has a little bit of that war machine going on, like with all the body armor and everything, but it's really cool. Uh, and it matches what he, the way he looks, the way he presents himself on the field and all of that. So it matches his aesthetic and his vibe very, very well. And that to me is something that, that I really look at and I think is really cool beyond just the functionality of something is how does it tie in with the aesthetic, the look of everything. Um, and all that aesthetic note, he even has like, for when he's cosplaying and using this. He has a detachable ammo belt that has fake bullets, so obviously you don't want to have fake bullets hanging around and something that looks like a minigun when you're at a Nerf public game. But hey, if he's cosplaying somewhere or he's at like a LARP that uses Nerf blasters, then he's got access to that and it looks really cool. And it's just those little details that I love. And you know, then there's the performance, which is absurd because it's like 2,000 rival rounds that can shoot stupid fast stupid super fast and captain xavier is actually super kind and actually the footage that you've been seeing up in the uh, corner here came from him he sent that specifically for this episode so big thank you to him for that go check out this video though because the detail and everything that went into this it's a lot and it takes uh, a lot to finish it's, it's it's just it's over the top i love it it's really cool go check it out and actually on the topic of videos, we're now at the video of the week. 
This week, it comes to us from Dart Dragon, and uh, this is a 5v5 tournament video. Now you all know that I love competition. I've been pushing for competitive nerf for a couple years now, and uh, I love seeing this explode and the popularity increasing and more people getting involved in competitive nerf. It's absolutely awesome. I love it. And uh, this video just, I've, I've been waiting for it since I heard about the tournament and I loved watching it. He actually has aerial footage from Chris Redfield uh, integrated in to show footage from all of the matches that were played in the tournament. And then he adds in first person view for his games that his team participated in. And uh, it's just fun to watch. It's fun to see how different groups are playing competitive nerf. And this was a uh, quick flag style of game. I think there may have been a few different changes here and there maybe, but for the most part it, it was click, quick flag, but with flywheelers and a more variety of blasters than you would see traditionally in a lot of the Singapore quick flag games. So it's definitely interesting to me to see that difference between uh, the way the US may play it and the way Singapore, Singapore may play it. And uh, it's just, I, I love seeing growth in the competitive scene. So I really want all of you to go check it out. That video is going to be right over here. Uh, normally I put something else, one of my other videos up here, but let's go ahead and put Captain Xavier's mod up here as well. And we'll put a subscribe button right here because if you are, are new to the channel and want to subscribe for more in the future, feel free to do that. And uh, let me know what you thought of everything this week. What do you think specifically actually I want to know what you think about the Foxfire Modular Blaster System. That's what I'm super excited about. Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, again, sorry about this change in the scenery, but hopefully my back will be better next week and we'll be back to something that looks a little bit better. And I uh, will be continually making improvements. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Jangular, and I'll see you next time.